Hey gamers, Mama Gamers here and welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing on with our Sicily travel through time and space. Today we are trying out one of the most iconic Sicily makeup items that has ever been existing. Period! It's the Sicily Blur Expert Powder. This basically is a setting powder that allegedly gives you the Instagram look in real life. Their own claim. That's dangerous territory here, Sisley. It is a allegedly universally flattering setting powder, so there's only one tone. We're gonna see about that in a second. We're gonna do first impressions. I'm gonna give you all the information you want and you need to know. And also I'm gonna do a wear test. Today I have quite a busy day. Well, actually not that busy, but I do get vaccined. Not the vaccine, because Austria is not that ready. You guys, if you want to know if this could potentially change our lives, then you might also consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel, because we're heading for the millions, at least in my head. But if you subscribe, we're heading for them in real life too. Don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when I post the videos normally every Monday to Saturday, 4 p.m. Central European time, which is 7 a.m. California Standard Time. Six videos a week. You guys, without further ado, let's just jump right into this video, because I really can't wait to try this out. So, you might be wondering, okay, so we're trying out the setting powder, why isn't he wearing makeup? Because he looks DISGUSTING! Um, just because I read online in some forums, which I've never heard before, but I just thought we're gonna give it a try, that some people actually prefer it as a primer. We're gonna see about that. So, on one side, we're gonna apply it as a primer, on the other side, we're just gonna apply it like a normal setting powder. Also, now it's a good point to mention that this is not sponsored by any means whatsoever. This is the quote unquote Insta Sisley filter. It is a very finely milled powder, a universally flattering, illuminating powder that stays on throughout the whole day, doesn't feel cakey, does look very natural. They also say that this powder has a blurring effect and a luminous matte finish. I do think that the powder itself will be mattifying, but the very high amount of mica in it, it's the first ingredients, will probably give this beautiful light reflection sheen. That's what they mean, I guess, but I'm not sure. To the ingredients, I do like them quite a lot. It is very Sisley-esque. It has glycerin in it, which is very rare, in my personal opinion, for a powder. Glycerin is very hydrating and moisturizing. Let's open that baddie up. Da da Oh my god, can you see that? Like, it is one of these packagings that has, you know, like, it's, it keeps the fingerprints on, but I don't really care. So you get 11 grams, which is not exactly half a fluid ounce, but somewhere around there. I'm sorry, do you see the orchid? This is probably the most beautiful makeup item I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, it is now time to see if this is really universally flattering. Ah, uh, that's not translucent. <laughs> Panic, because that was expensive. We're gonna do it as I said, so we're gonna go in on this side with the powder first. You don't need much. I don't like overpowdering. Okay, it is on there. Let's go in. Okay, so my first reaction is that fine lines do feel minimized. Do you see here? I'm not sure if this picks up on camera, but in real life there's a slight orangey tint to this area where I just put the powder. So what I'm gonna do now is quickly going in with foundation and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did apply some foundation. I do wanna be fully transparent. I had issues blending it around the eyes. It most definitely does blur. Now we're gonna go in with the big powder brush and just swirl it. They made like a whole video about this item on their official Sisley makeup channel. And they basically just really just, you know, swirled it all over. I normally don't powder my cheeks because any powder I've ever tried did emphasize my acne scarring. It did emphasize a little bit the red spots on my face. There is this slight sheen to it. I'm not sure if you can see that. Like, I do understand what they mean with matte luminous. Hey yo, editing Nikki here. So, I think it is very important to... That was my dog being unnecessary, but what I wanted to say is that on camera you could see on my left cheek, so the cheek where I primed with the powder, a very dark orangey spot. 
that was very interesting. I walked around the whole day in daylight and I could not see it. Like I couldn't even spot it filming this video, but seeing it on camera, this powder most definitely, at least when it is filmed or photographed, it most definitely is not translucent or transparent. So it's currently around eight, shortly past eight in the morning. You guys, let me know what you think about that powder. I'm gonna go about my day, I'm gonna take you with me and we're gonna see if the Sisley Blur Expert is worth the insanely high amount of money. Okay, hey you guys, so it's half past 10, so I've been wearing this product for not a long time. I'm now heading off to get my waxing. So I'm just gonna zoom you right in on my skin. Uh, this side is with the powder as a primer. This one is the side with the powder as a powder. I think it is quite visible in daylight. It is daylight, so it it all looks a bit more damaged because daylight never looks good. But I think you do see that this one looks more smoothed out, especially in this area. Uh, we already have some small wrinkles, so the powder as a primer. Don't know who thought about this. It doesn't work. Um, here, I think we look quite good at it, not touch up. We will touch up throughout the day because this is allegedly a touch up powder. So we're gonna find out if it works as a touch up powder. Um, I think it, it it's not horrible. Um, I think it's fine. We're gonna see how it works throughout the day. Okay, hey you guys. So it is exactly, not exactly, but nearly exactly 12. I got my uh, vaccine here. I'm I think it's it's time to um, try the touch up function. It's been four hours, my skin is getting oily. I wanna see if this, you know, can correct fine lines that were created throughout the day and it does appear as if yes. Okay, wow, do we see that? It looks fabulous. It de-slicks my face but gives it like a natural shine. Wow, um, yeah, you guys, that was my check-in. It is now exactly eight past 12. So I'm gonna go about my day and I will check in later. Hey you guys, so it's my final check-in for this video. I'm currently editing a video, but I wanna do a quick final check-in. So what you can see is that I still got oily. It's been around two to three hours since the last check-in. I got oily again. So this powder does mattify, but it is not overly mattifying. The under eyes, they look good on both sides. So I like it, I really do. It does not look cakey, it does not look bunchy, unnatural. I, I film in natural daylight. It is visible that I wear makeup, but it's not too much. Is the Sisley Blur Expert recommended by me? If you have problematic skin, not even skin like I do, then you will probably enjoy this one. I do want to be honest, fully transparent here. When I compare my initial reaction and even my final opinion considering this powder and for example my opinion on the So Stretch Mascara from Sisley, I do have to be fully transparent and say I am not 100% wheeled in on this powder. It's not that I don't like it, it's just for me personally, I thought that a powder for this very high price point and for the amazingness that Sisley is would not necessarily emphasize my acne scarring. It did not grab on the edges of my scarring, so that is something that every other powder that I've ever tried, and honey, I'm oily, I tried a lot of powders, did, so... I like it a lot, but I just think that this is probably one of these items that will grow on me over time, like every single usage, I will enjoy it more and more and more. I'm quite sure that this is an item like that. So from my side, yes, it is recommended. I said everything that I had to say. Okay, hi, future Nikki is jumping in again. 
I just wanted to quickly mention that I agree with whatever I said in this video, I really do. I want to mention this powder is not, not translucent or transparent, it has a sheen or a tint to it, or at least it oxidizes when it comes into touch with foundation and or skin, so not universally flattering. Um, but I love how my skin looked, I really do. I think throughout the day, the color difference of my skin and the powder wasn't that bad, especially in the last check-in. It was barely visible, let's be honest. And at the final check-in, you saw my pores were gone. They were gone. Like, this powder blurs out like no other. Very, very amazing. For me personally, it is a win. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Mwah. Bye.